know that I have the words to even tell you about the jaw-dropping finds that I found at Dollar Tree. So I won't. You just gotta come take a look with me. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube, well, YouTube should notify you every time I'm uploading a new video, depending on the option that you choose, yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. I'm gonna quit my cabin, let's jump into it, and let me show you all these amazing finds that you too should be keeping your eye open for at your local Dollar Tree, and when you see them, you might wanna grab them. Let's get to it. And we're off. That's what I'm gonna say, because we are gonna start off with some of my favorite new Halloween finds, and I did separate all the items that I found trying to keep them in some kind of order, so it's not just a hodgepodge of things that I'm throwing at you. So since Halloween is first, we're gonna go with that. I found a couple of fun LED projector lights. This one here is of a haunted house. How cute is that? And this one here is of a skull. Now, I'm not sure how well these work, so I figured I would take them out of the box and try them. They are powered by two AA batteries, which I have on hand. So we're gonna pop that in there. Oh, wrong way, Cal. Oh, so it is on. Let's see here, let's turn the light off and see what happens. Alrighty, so here we have the projector itself and this is the orange one. So when we pan up here, there is the image on the wall. The image standing about two feet from the wall is about 12 inches. And so I'm gonna say the farther out you go with the projector, the bigger it gets. The image, if you get too far out, it kind of gets distorted, but I would say about five, six feet is a good distance. And you can't see the black one in my hand, but when you pan up, wowzers. That is bright, vivid colors. I'm gonna say the image is great on this. How fun is this? I love these. You saw it for yourself. These are a pretty great little item, fun. So why not add it to your Halloween decor? I've never been much of a Halloween decor person, but I don't know, this year has been filled with a lot of changes and I'm kind of feeling it. These probably go down as one of my favorite finds. They're Halloween edition little potion bottles. They came in three different sizes. This taller, longer one. We've got a medium sized one that's a bit wider and a smaller, wider one as well. They've got fun little Halloween stickers on them. I actually really love the color of bottles as well as the Halloween theme behind them. This would be a fun addition to a Halloween tiered tray. If you haven't seen my 2021 one, I will link it at the end of this video. These would be fun. It was a candy corn theme. And so these would go and I think it would be fun. These are such a fun Halloween find that I feel like these can be repurposed for something else. These books, this is a book plaque stand. It is for Halloween but I feel like because the different sizes are here, we could easily repaint it in maybe the farmhouse decor style. So I picked up four of them that I will be using probably after Halloween. And along with those I found, are these a book box? No, they're not, they're just a book. Oh, I love it. 
It came with plastic, so I kind of assumed it opened and closed, but it didn't, it doesn't. It's just a book, and so I love that. This is even better. So yes, I picked up four of these. Again, won't be using them for Halloween, but we'll be repurposing them. For the fall and harvest, would you look at these corn garden picks? I found them in two different colors, the orange and the yellow. They are kind of stuck together. There we go. I am loving these. I'm definitely not going to be using them as garden picks. I picked up two of each color because I do have a DIY in mind using these. And so, yes, those are just really fun and different looking. So I'm excited to incorporate them into one of my DIYs coming up here soon. Oh my goodness, do you hear that? And along with those, <laughs> was that you with Francis? Was that you with Francis? Where's your Francis? Where's your, oh, hi, big boy. Hi, where's your Francis at? Here's Fred. Hi, Winnie. There's Francis right there. He's gonna get it. You're so handsome. You're such a handsome boy. Where are you going with Francis? Yep, it's the ugliest blue toy ever, but we bought two of them, one for Biza, one for Winnie, when they came home to us at seven weeks old. And it is, the, oh my goodness, would you look at him? It is the only toy that they haven't defluffed and Biza snuggles it all the time. You're so cute. You're gonna melt everybody's heart, handsome boy. Hi, big boy. I love you. Yeah, your tail is wagging. You wanna get in your new bed? This is a new bed and he loves it. Come here. Come get in your bed. Winnie, come here. Come here, big girl. You just got groomed, huh? We cut you down again. Oh, look at that face. It'll melt anybody's heart. Hi, big boy. I love you. Alrighty, so back to my autumn finds. These sunflowers are adorable. Love, love, love them. They are a garden pick and um, yeah, he is really having fun out there and I'm gonna work through this because I need to get this done because it needs to be uploaded tomorrow. Yep, I procrastinated. So yes. Sunflower garden picks, love, love, love them. Picked up a few of them. I wanna say I picked up four. And so yes, another great find. Dollar Tree has the most amazing window clings for the fall and harvest season. I probably know I did buy way too many, but I am going to repurpose these. And I'm not sure what route I wanna go yet, I loved them all so much. I picked up one of each, maybe a couple of each. We've got this Give Thanks. And again, like I said, these will be repurposed into a DIY. I just thought these animals were so cute. These autumn and fall animals, the colors are perfect. Hello fall, kind of the traditional colors there. I was loving the aqua truck that says gather. Such an awesome cling. This one here has a bunch of sayings. Kind of reminds me of scrapbooking paper. I just love it. This is another fun one. Leaves are falling, autumn is calling. Oh my word, I love how cute this is. This one is another one, Hello Autumn. I really, really like this. And the leaves, the squash, this is a fun one. And I think that is it. Yes, I just bought a couple extras of the ones that I really liked. This is the first time I have seen the blank styrofoam pumpkins. I've always only ever seen them in the orange and the black, the fluorescent orange and black. And so the fact that 
We've got just a white one that doesn't need to cover up that fluorescent orange. I just feel like that makes life a bit easier. So I picked up four of these because I've got a couple DIYs in store for you using these. These galvanized fall maple leaves are a new addition that I just found at my Dollar Tree. You can expect to be seeing these in an upcoming DIY. And this wreath form. Have you seen this new fall fabric with the red truck filled with pumpkins? Okay, seriously, I love this fabric. Oh my word. Yes, obsessed. Sunflowers. You're getting six in this pack, nine in this pack. These are a larger one. They've got wires on the back. And boy, oh boy, are these stinking adorable. I love these. I picked up a couple packs of each. Not really sure when and if I'm gonna use them this year, but I like to put them in my stash because you just never know. Some flowers are a great fall or summer uh, flower. Last year, Dollar Tree had blue and white. They're calling this mesh. I'm not gonna call this mesh. This is tulle and it feels like tool. I don't like working with Dollar Tree mesh. I don't like the look of it. I don't like the feel of it, but I do love the tool. And at Christmas, like I said, I found the white and the blue one and used it in a DIY. Well, guess what? Dollar Tree's got it in the fall colors. I picked it up in orange, brown. They did have it in red and green, but I didn't need that. And boy, oh boy, do I have a DIY in store for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I can't help but laugh. Real life here, people, real life. Okay, so like I was saying, I do have a DIY in store for you using <laughs> this tooling and it is already done. So it is one you are not gonna wanna miss. Yep, look at how cute this bread pan is. Oh my word. I hope they come out with these for Christmas because these are gonna go perfect with my bread boards that I will be gifting people a loaf of bread on. I can give them the loaf of bread in this and wrap it in cellophane and put it on the bread board. <gasps> they came in several different styles or prints on them. Um, these are microwave safe, dishwasher safe, and oven safe. And it does say that here at the bottom. And so you can bake your bread in this and gift bread for $1.25. How cute is that? Burlap ribbon rolls. And this is a bit different than the burlap ribbon rolls that Dollar Tree has carried in the past. That burlap, I wanna say, was a very low grade burlap. It wasn't very tightly woven at all. It frayed very easily. Well, now Crafter Square has come out with this burlap, what they're calling crafting fabric. You are getting 8.25 feet per roll. It is a tighter woven burlap and look at how much you are getting for $1.25. It is not wired. I do want to specify that. Either way, I think that this is a great new addition to the Crafter Square line at Dollar Tree. For those of you who have been following me a while, you know I love the wood ornaments, the DIY wood ornaments that you're getting eight in a pack of. I could not pass up this mug with whipped cream. Yeah, are you seeing how cute that is? So stinking cute. Oh my goodness. I may be doing a winter DIY using these after Christmas, so you might wanna pick these up. How cute are these? gingham houses. It's got a chalkboard tag in the front here. This is a nice size house. And yeah, this was with all of the Crafter Square wood pieces on the crafting aisle. Nice find. Crafter Square is adding to their, I'm going to say their Cricut tools, their cutting machine tools. These um, emulate the Cricut craft tools um, very closely and now they've got a scoring tool. The scoring tool doesn't 
look much like the Cricut one, but it will work the same as that. I think these are great. I've never seen this scoring tool before. I've only seen the pink one. No, was it pink? What was it? The double, yeah, the double-sided one. I love that they now have this scoring tool. It's easier to work with. These are great for paper crafting. And I will tell you that I will be bringing to you some paper crafting DIYs that you are most definitely going to want to um, stay tuned for. Pick up some of these because there is a lot of scoring and paper crafting and this is going to get the job done a lot easier. Somebody got super smart and came up with a pull noodle knife. That's pretty handy. For $1.25, I think it's a great investment. Yes, there are other things that you can use to cut a pull noodle, but I think it's great that this is even out there now, something you can keep in your stash. Not to mention that it would also cut floral foam as well. And so yes, this is definitely something that is going to stay in my stash and I think it's a fun new find. Dollar Tree rub-on transfers are amazing all on their own. But now, yeah, I'm seeing some rub-on wood transfer. Oh my word, look at how amazing that looks. And it is a rub-on transfer. I love the idea of that. I found several of the blackish gray wood. I only found two of the whitewashed wood. I picked it up anyway because I really don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I know I wanna incorporate them into a DIY here. And so, yeah, definitely keep your eye open for these. These are a great alternative to fabric, to paint, to paper. And so they will be fun to work with. And how cute are these? These are a cupcake embellishment and they're candy eyeballs. They came in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. I am super excited about these because it says that they are a towel and tissue holder and I just loved the idea of, this is macrame, I'm gonna call it, with a dowel here. It would be perfect for a hand towel in a beach bathroom or a roll of toilet paper. So I picked up three of them for Allie and Kayla's bathroom. They don't have towel holders in their bathroom. They do have a toilet paper one, but I am going to switch it out with this because I think that these are just too cute. This would be great for boho or beach. And you saw in that clip that I found these Beyond Mixers Plus Digestive Support Pumpkin. This is pumpkin in a can. This is by Purina. I know a lot of people worry about buying stuff at Dollar Tree, but when it's name brand like this, I really don't worry too much about it. I don't have grass in my backyard, and so Abiza has a very sensitive stomach. Abiza is my son's Labradoodle, and I have read online through my research that Pumpkin is very good for settling their stomach and it's good for digestive support. And it's also a good source of fiber for them. And so I picked up a couple cans of this because I wanna try it and see if it helps his tummy when he's here. And if so, then I'll probably buy the bigger cans. Here are some of the other great new finds that I found that I didn't pick up. Switch plate cover decor. I found it in four different styles. This would be a fun little decoration piece for a kid's bedroom. I hope they come out with newer ones. And they've got a ton of new nursery decor, ceramic decor, wood decor. Look at how fun that is. And gift ideas as well. These photo frames that came in three or four different colors. This handprint and footprint, great gift ideas on a budget. I also found these candy jars. These are a plastic candy jar in the party section. I think these are amazing. Now that I'm looking at them, I've got some inspiration, so I think I need to go back today and pick up a couple. 
Moving on into the organization section, I am seeing that they have this whole line of under bed storage organizers. They've got some boxes that look like cube organizers. They've got some bags like this one. I'm not sure how sturdy they are. They've got these jumbo storage bags. They've got shoe storage bags. I am loving that. For $1.25, it's gonna help you get organized. I think I'm gonna go back and pick up these jumbo storage blanket bags as well. They've got some over the door organizers as well for shoes. They've got a few different styles here. And here we have the Beyond Mixers, the Digestive Support Pumpkin Cans. They are a smaller can. Browsing through Target in their fun bins that they've got there, the discounted bins. And I found these DIY ceramic coasters. They come in a three pack. How cute is this? This was $3, kind of can't beat it. This one was also $3. These would be a great gift idea for somebody. Maybe put some a picture on there, Mod Posh something on there, use a vinyl of some sort on here after you paint it and then seal it. Just some DIY gift ideas on a budget. I hope you all enjoyed these jaw-dropping finds that I found at my Dollar Tree and me giving you a heads up as to what you should be keeping your eyes open for at your local Dollar Tree. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody. Have a great weekend.